Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Ask the Expert. I am so excited that you're here with myself, Patty Farmer, and my co-host, Teresa Ream, right? And we're looking forward to sharing today's expert with you. And oh, do we have a surprise for you? But we also want to encourage you to not just listen, right? It is all about implementation and taking action. So we really encourage you after the show to make sure you connect with our guests and really implement some of the strategies and the information she's going to share with you today because it's going to be gold. Today, it's going to be all about gold, gold nuggets. So Teresa, will you tell everybody a little bit about our guest today? Thank you, Patty. Yes, gold and sparkle. So today we are going to be talking about um, taking your business uh, growth to the next level with B. Baylor. So get ready to propel and soar. Um, <laughs> B. Baylor's got you covered. Um, B is a high performance executive coach, award winning motivational speaker, international author an agent of change while leading a no, le, living a nomadic lifestyle. We want to hear more about that. B's target market are women of color, entrepreneurs, top leaders, and change agents who are sitting at the wrong table. Got to hear about Thank that you. too. And ready to make a power move to achieve exponential business growth and walk in abundance. B, welcome. And we're so happy to have you here. I am so happy to feel those shoes. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> oh, we love it. Love it. Love it. So let's just dive right in because, boy, I just really want to get as much information as we can out there to the masses who are listening because I know it's the beginning of the year right now and everybody's wanting to jumpstart their year. And so I hope everybody has a pen and paper so that they can be taking notes. So let's just jump right in. So B, what is the one thing, you know, that we're all different, but what's the one thing that differentiates you from everybody else in your industry? Really, really great question, Patty. And one of the things that differentiates me is the fact that I come from a, a place of sharing my experience of whether it's good or bad or failure. So when I go to work with any woman, I understand the assignment and all of the trials and tribulations that they've been through. I come from bottom up instead of top down. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. it so, so does. So I communicate with women <laughs> from heart to heart, from brokenness, from failure, from all walks of life, I got you covered. And women feel comfortable in that space that I'm coming from a place of not looking down, but edifying and lifting up women from all walks of life, because I get it. I understand your storm, your story, your journey been there, walked it, talked it, and I'm living it. And now we both can rise to the top together. I love that. You know, I heard a saying once that said, you should never look down on anyone unless you have your hand down to help lift up. And I really, truly believe that. And, you know, now more than ever, whether it's marketing, networking, whatever, it's not just about putting out content, right? Context is king. And, you know, I think Gary V says that content is king, but context is God, right? So it's really all about that. And it is more important than ever that people really want to get to know the authentic you, right? They want us to be vulnerable and share and really talk about that. You know, Teresa spoke last night and I got the privilege and honor to listen to her and she for as long as I have known you, not that that's that long, but I, we've <laughs> known each other for at least a couple of years now. And I have to tell you, I learned and was inspired all over again from you, Teresa. But I think that a lot of that is because people look at speakers and experts and authorities like, oh, well, that's them. That could never be me. But when we share the real deal, the, the down the and dirty, deal. what it was like, like you said, yes. from the bottom up, 
everybody rises because then they really realize that, wow, if you could do it, well, then I can do it too, which is really what we want them to believe, right? Yes. 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 And, it, and it, it comes from a, a, a nursing a nursing back, back, background where, okay, sometimes you got to get naked. You got to just pull it all off. You got to get that mask and, and come forward so we'll be able to help you. You can't come to the doctor and say, I'm well. There's got to be something that you know, the doctor need to take care of you. And so I look at women in that perspective because I've had to strip. Wow, that I have goosebumps all up and down my arms. That what you just said really spoke to me on the essence of why women should get together and join together. You know, in our society today, a lot of people that, you know, we put the lipstick on, we're awesome, we're this and that, but we're like a broken couch with a new slip cover on it. Mm -hmm. And that just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Something always falls down if we don't have our undergirding pinned down correctly. So that's what you do. You get in there to the bones. You speak, yes. to, the, you speak to the bones. I love it. Yes. Yes. And I think that's kind of foundational too, right? You know, because if you can put on all the pretty dresses, since we're talking to women here, right? You can put on all the pretty dresses, the lipstick and all that stuff. But if your undergarments are like really like not so good, we don't really <laughs> feel all that great. We may look good to everybody else, but we don't, right? So we have to start there first. Like you said, get naked and, and like get that right. So that now as you grow, right. Maybe you're not at the same place where everybody else is, but everybody else has their own journey, right? That's right. That's yes, right, Patty. Yes. So beautiful. Oh, uh, this is just oh, this is just where I live in. I love it. B B B. What is the best compliment that you've ever received in your business? This is so beautiful, and and when I go back and think about one of the the ladies that I work with, um, which was. Uh, my sister, and she was the first person that I really wrote her nonprofit and got it up and going. And she said to me, I never, ever knew that you had that kind of talent and that you would come mm -hmm. and help me because I looked at you like a sister or just a nurse, not someone that could build this beautiful nonprofit that she's feeding 5,000 people and taking care of all the kids in her community. And that just meant so much for, for me, you know, coming from a family member that is just, wow, warm my heart and gave me encouragement because family members can take you down that way mm -hmm. out the yeah. door and discourage you. <laughs> yes. Right? So she yes. just nailed it. And I just love that. Oh, That's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And you're right. We don't always, you know, we love it when we hear it from our clients and from our peers and stuff like that. But when a family member sees it and you really make a change for them, right? I, I think that is powerful. So that's nice that she shared it. And I could see where that warms your heart. It did. And just gave me that energy that I needed that wow, I want to do this for other women and, you know, really just do it intentionally. I'm a giver. So it, it's like, okay, I can do it. I can do it for this, but I put a price tag on it for her, which made it even more beautiful to have her pay for it. And whom she appreciated my time, my talent. And I'm so humbled that she had no idea that I could even do that uh, in, in business. Like I never done business with her. So it was like, wow. So that felt good. And to have women come forth to say, you you just, you know, got me up. You got me jump started. You gave me the energy. You gave me the confidence to, to know. And that's a place where I come to dive deep into a woman's heart, heart to heart. And that's where I live in that space of talking to women from the heart. Wow. You know, that was a nugget. That was a nugget. So if those of you are out there that didn't catch this part, I mean, we're so inspired by her, but there was a real juicy marketing nugget there for you, which is really about investing in yourself. So you notice that was her sister yes. and like she charged her, right? And look at the compliment that you got back and what she said, because she invested in herself so that she was able to receive 
what you gave her. So really you set that up so beautifully for her to be like, oh, you know, you're my sister. I'll just kind of help you, whatever, which that's how they would take that. But instead you said, I'm going to show up as the authority I am and help you. And having her pay for that, she has to feel really good about herself because she invested in herself. So you know, that is a juicy, juicy nugget out there that I hope everybody value, got. The value, the oh, value. Yes, 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 it is. And you know what I saw was that someone sh showed you, they shined a light on that part of you mm. that may have even been hidden from you. And I love it when people do that for me. I just, I just connect so well with them because I, you know what we need to be? We need to inspire ourselves before we can inspire others. Absolutely. Before we do. That's wonderful. Courage, the courage to move on onward in my business. Uh, yeah. I love that part that in a family member impacted that courage. I am loving this show today. I just have <laughs> to say. <laughs> Bring it on, Patty. <laughs> well, Patty has the next question for you. No, you have the next question for her. <laughs> um what is the best compliment so um yours is a project Number okay three. so before we're going to ask you about the project we're going to say what's the question you get asked most often oh got question. it got it yeah the question i get asked a lot is it's i'm ready i'm ready to get started in my business b but i don't know where to start I'm lost. And it and I I've got a client now that I booked her this afternoon and and that's the words that come out of her mouth is I'm so lost and I don't know where to start. Huge huge for women to say that because women don't like to go down that road of letting you know what they don't know and the fact that they feel comfortable coming to me to say can you mentor me? I don't know where to start. And so I literally turned the mentorship in. It is coaching. It is uh, a, a paid, whether it's mentorship or coaching, it is paid. But I've always wondered like, wow, what do women come to me and say, I'm ready to start a business, but I don't know where to start. Well, I think that's fabulous that they know that they can come to you for that. And what I really love is that you're probably giving them what I consider, this is my opinion, the best advice that anyone could ever give someone, which when they're first starting is to hire a coach, <laughs> right? You know, I always have a coach, at least one, two, and I've even had three coaches at a time, depending upon what I was doing in my business. And I realized that from day one, everybody can't always hire a coach like you know, here I put my shingle out and now, you know, now I'm going to hire a coach. Maybe they can't do it, but as soon as they can, they should before that they, they can have mentors. Before, There's a lot of mentors, absolutely. right? But I love right. that you're, you're getting them into that because that really is something that once they start, they really understand the benefit of it. And if they keep doing that, you know, they will get where they want to go if they take action and don't just right. listen. But and especially something. if they if they hire me and they can hire any coach, but that's the key word is that's all great and wonderful, you know. But you have to have a coach uh, sometimes too because there's that life coach. I'm high performance, so sometimes yeah. it's like, ooh, you may not be ready for where I'm going to take you. And so it's a matter of do you have clarity. Do you have confidence or you commit it? So you have to go to my seven pillars of success first before even getting started and working on the business because there has to be, are you ready? Right. And I think that's really important because sometimes they're not ready. They're not. <laughs> right? Sometimes they're not ready. And I have even seen, I'm sure you have too, when people really aren't ready and they think hiring somebody and writing a check is like the magic bullet, right? You know, they think that's going to, and they don't have to do anything. They're just going to write a check. Hey, I get it too. I've done that before. You know, I bought a, you know, a fitness membership and thought just buying the membership was good enough. I didn't have to go. I can just buy the membership, right? So I, we, I've been there, done that, right? That doesn't work. You always anybody. have to do the work, don't you, Patty? You, gotta do you the always work. have yeah. to do the work. Got to do the work, right? You know, so why? I think, um, I think that's wonderful. So I think how you're showing up in your heart, like you said in the beginning, mm -hmm. 
And not only that, but because you are so vulnerable and authentic, it's going to make it a lot easier for someone who is just starting and saying, you know, I'm ready to get started and not be so fearful when they hire a coach who is also sharing what she went through rather than hiring somebody who makes it sound like it's always perfect and I've oh, never yeah. had to struggle. No, let's go. Right? We got this. No, right. it's like, okay, we, we've got a lot of work to do because if you were, you know, coming to your coaching session and you're talking about things that happened with your boyfriend and he did this and you're mm. not ready no. to have to go through some sort of personal development before we can get you into the business development first, because you're just giving your money away or you're, you know, you've got to fail in order to succeed first and foremost. But if you could help it at all cost, be, be ready to like get in there and go to the core and make sure that you know what the challenges are that you're going to face when you absolutely it is not an easy thing to do absolutely i remember when teresa early on um in our friendship shared with me that she had hired somebody and was with them for 10 years a mentor i mean 10 years I mean, that's a long time for somebody that's, to just stay with somebody. And I thought that really said a lot. When she shared that with me, I was like, you know, when you hire someone, right? And in the beginning, we all know that, you know, in order for them to help us, we have to tell them all the nitty gritty, good, bad, and the ugly right. stuff, oh, right? And if they do a good job, that. you're not going to want to do all that again. Who wants to tell right. that story all <laughs> over again, right? So, um I love that when Teresa shared that 10 years, Teresa, that's kind of amazing. Yes. And, and that's, that's who she is amazing. Uh, sustainability is what you got from that uh, relationship. Relationship, oh, yes. you you did that. To the yes. Because we have mentors for all different reasons, different times, different seasons in our life. And that's why sometimes, you know, coaches always have coaches, right? And like you said, one, two, Three, you know, I mean, really honestly. So I think, I think that's good and it's setting the example, right? So when somebody says to us, well, do you have a coach? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, mentor, spiritual advisor. <laughs> All of it. Bring uh, yeah. it on, right? Uh, bring, bring it on. It on. <laughs> <laughs> so B, do you have a new project you're working on right now? Because um, I'm loving hearing everything you're saying and I'm sure our audience is as well. But if you have a new project you're working on right now, how can we serve and support you? That's beautiful, Patty. And what I my new project is one, I have this amazing business app, business center for women that are established in their business. And get this, they have no concept of the marketing piece that's missing from their business. And I that hope that wasn't is... supposed to be a surprise for me. As a marketing person, I get it. Really? <laughs> you get it, right? As like, when I when I talk to women, like, can I find you on Google? No. Are you automated? No. Um, so how are you doing business? You're like all over the place with your business. And so in this particular app, you have an opportunity to be in one place to have your business listed on Google in addition to over a hundred other listings. And so when we're looking for you, you're credible, you're established, and I'm seeing reviews. I eat at restaurants based on reviews. So what would make me want to do business with you if I can't find any reviews on your business? So true. True, true, true that. Yes. Yes. And, and so, I think it's important too, because we're in a world right now of fake news, right? You know, yes. back in the day, you know, you couldn't believe what you read all the time. Now, sometimes you can't even believe what you see, right? <laughs> <laughs> because we live in a world of fake news. Remember back in the day when people, not me or you, not I'm me. sure, <laughs> but when you used to see testimonials where people would do testimonials, first initials, last name, or, right. or something like that. And I'm thinking, well, that could have been like anybody, their anybody. sister, their mother, whatever. Yeah. Nowadays, we want you to tell us like who they are, their website, like how to get a hold of them so we can check it, right? Which I think is also authentic, 
right? And letting people know and stuff though. So you're right, getting listed in places where people know that this is real deal, right? Real you know, deal. not yes. just that you put stuff up that sounded good, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So the, so this is a, a launch in really bringing women and I'm actually giving uh, you access to the business app where you have the express tools and resources to really grow your business and build that credibility, uh, automation, you know, artificial intelligence, you're looking really good. And I found that that was the missing component that was missing as I'm coaching the women. They're not even listed on Google, or even if you ask them, what is Google My Business? Sometimes I don't even know. And how are you posting? And what kind of postings? Do you have a calendar? You know, Patty, you know exactly what I'm talking I about. I do. You are the marketing expert here. And I found that just having that business app to give them the tools, of course, everything they need, their meetings, their files, um, resources that they need are right in the app. And so they don't have to go anywhere outside. They do all their social posting right there. And I'm just starting to bring people into the business app. It's a beautiful project. I was working on it last year, post heart attack, pre heart attack. And then, and then I just put it aside and I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect for 2022. That um, is, because, you know, phenomenal having that delay, that was a delay. And now I feel like this is the time, the pandemic is the time to have automation and digital marketing for yes. our business. Yes. That's so true, which also leads us to the very next question. <laughs> yes. So B, who can we introduce you to or what type of person can we introduce you to that would move the needle or be a game changer in your business in the next 30 days? Perfect. High performance coaching uh, to me are women that are established in their business, again, feeling like they need to get to the uh, six figure and they're just kind of stumbling around. They're literally sitting at the wrong table. I want to bring them to the right table and have them partake of all the tools and resources that I'm going to be supporting them in their business. So established women, uh, businesses that are, you know, already doing well and would like an SEO package or would like to get into the marketing side of that business app. Uh, also women who are just really, you know, just need that uh, support. Nonprofits who are ready to get started. And as a business owner, I feel like every woman has a purpose or a passion. Um, so a nonprofit looking to grow their nonprofit or even a startup. So I think that was, that's like just women ready to get started, go to the next level, sitting at the wrong table and nonprofits who are looking to grow their business or startup. Another, Perfect. Another. I know. And I like it. That's a, that's a really a great range as well. So with that in mind, what social media platform are you the most active on? So where would you like our audience to connect with you? I, I do have a LinkedIn profile, but it's for the most part, uh, I'm more on the Facebook, Instagram is starting to build, but you can find me on Facebook for the Perfect. most part. And um, once you get to that Facebook, you, you'll find me hanging out in my business app. <laughs> I love that. So thank you, B, for being a guest on the show You're and sharing welcome. your zone of genius so generously. And to our audience, thank you for joining us on the Ask the Expert show. And if you enjoyed today's show, and I am sure you did, don't keep us a secret. Share us with your network. And believe me when I say your colleagues will thank you. So we have an invitation for you. And Teresa, why don't you tell them all about it? Yes, thank you. Thank you, ladies. It was, this was an amazing interview. We would like to invite you to join us on our Facebook group and connect with our guest, with Patty and I, and to other amazing women that are part of the Professional Women's Network of the Monterey Peninsula known as PWN, and now it includes members locally, nationally, and internationally too. And we would love to have you join us and share your expertise with our audiences. You can go to www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PWN Monterey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies. This was a great start to my Thank day. You. I love it.
Thank you so much, B. We will be connecting soon, as I am sure a lot of our guests will um, as well. And so thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate you guys. You ladies be good. All right. Bye-bye now. <laughs>